US news network CNBC reported yesterday that China had installed anti-ship cruise missiles and surface-to-air missile systems on three outposts in the South China Sea, citing sources with direct knowledge of US intelligence. A US official disclosed on condition of anonymity that US intelligence had seen signs that China had moved some weapon systems to the Spratly Islands in the past month or so, but offered no details. Reports suggest that the missiles were moved to Fiery Cross Reef, Subi Reef and Mischief Reef in the Spratly Islands within the last 30 days. China defended the deployment of missile systems in the South China Sea. It said that it has indisputable sovereignty over the area. Unconfirmed reports indicates the missiles are YJ-12B anti-ship cruise missiles and HQ-9B surface-to-air missiles. This deployment comes as China has stepped up its mischiefs in Horn of Africa. The United States has officially complained to China, alleging two U.S. airmen were targeted with military-grade lasers by China in Djibouti. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how China is provoking by deploying missiles in South China Sea and targeting U.S. aircrafts with lasers in Djibouti. Let's get started. China claims most of the South China Sea and the East China Sea. Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan have disputed these claims. The route is significant as about $5 million in trade through shipping passes each year. Countries like the US, Japan and India have no claims in the area and want freedom of navigation as per international maritime laws. China has tried imposing a unilateral decision as per which all ships navigating in the area need to identify itself to the Chinese Navy. According to Chinese sources, the YJ-12 has a speed of around Mach 2 if launched from low altitude and up to Mach 3.2 if launched from high altitude. It has maximum range of 380 kilometers depending on launch altitude so it can be fired from far off. In the terminal phase, the missile can travel at a very low altitude of 15 meters, which makes it hard for the sensors to detect. When this missile appears over the horizon and gets detected by ship sensors, the ship would only have some 45 seconds to intercept it before impact. The speed, range and ability to skim close to the sea surface makes it one of the most deadly anti-ship missiles in the world. A saturation attack by YJ-12s will be hard to defend against even by sophisticated defenses of U.S. military. The HQ-9 is China's new generation medium to long range active radar homing surface to air missile. The most fundamental formation of HQ-9 batteries consists of multiple radars, command control center, supporting vehicles and eight transporter erector launches tells each with four missiles totaling 32 rounds ready to fire to maximize the combat effectiveness of HQ-9 dedicated fire control radar is present designated as HT-233 it has a range of 300 kilometers similar to the Russians S-300V the HQ-9 is a two-stage missile the missile has a total mass of almost 2 tons and a length of 6.8 meters. The missile is equipped with a 180 kilogram warhead, has a maximum speed of Mach 4.2 and has a maximum range of 200 kilometers. The system could target aircraft, drones and cruise missiles, potentially making it dangerous for the US Air Force to enter the airspace protected by it. Eric Sayers, a former consultant to the commander of the U.S. Pacific Command, called the missile deployment a major escalation. Mr. Sayers said, when China sees that it can get away with these types of actions with little cost, as they did all through 2015 and 2016, it only makes it more likely they'll keep pressing. U.S. Admiral Philip Davidson, recently nominated to head the U.S. Pacific Command, said China could use its forward operating bases in the South China Sea to challenge the U.S. regional presence and would easily overwhelm the military forces of any other South China Sea claimants. Pentagon spokeswoman Dana W. White said that the United States has asked China to investigate these incidents. She said the Pentagon was confident that Chinese nationals were responsible, 
She said there had been more than two but fewer than ten such incidents, and these attacks have increased in frequency in recent weeks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.